You good? Uh, was that was your smoke? I was gonna steal it. What's that? Yeah, yeah. All right. that one say Imperial. no I think that's just the hat that's just who makes the hat gotcha. yeah yeah where we got the hoodies made Last night wasn't bad, as long as we were bundled up. I could have probably thrown another, you know what I needed was an, a long sleeve shirt instead of a short sleeve shirt underneath, and I would have been just perfect, but as it was, I was just slightly, slightly chilly. 
But fuck, that was fun. I'll see if we can get some uh, cash today and we'll get a brake cable for you. Yeah. Is that what it was? That's all he needs is one of these brake cables. Yeah, he's got some serious ground clearance. Yeah. He put a uh, a monster shock on there. Yeah. It used to be the smaller mine. And he's all about like 60 plus? Uh, this one will do 120, but these ones will hit about 90. 90, eh? Yeah. And that's all battery? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, in here up to about here is battery. In mine, it's up to all the way up to here. Is it just one big battery? Or yeah, that? yeah, yeah. They're pretty easy to take out. Like if you had to change it, for example, it's pretty easy to take out. Just unplug it, pop it out, and you're good. <coughs> Everything on these are super easy maintenance. Like um, if something goes wrong, chances are 90% of the time it's just a cable that's come unplugged. You're the best, thank you. Yeah, usually if it's something's gone wrong with it, it's just the the the, uh, the cable coming unplugged. How are they going to Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can, I would move these from here, use the JB liquid weld, and uh, we'll duct uh, electrical tape them until they set, slap them here, one on either side of that, like the motorcycles have them. Well, I think I'm going to get an inner sinking one so I don't have all this garbage. I was thinking about that. Oh, like a Bluetooth. Yeah. That's That'd be cool. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, for now, yeah. for now, you'd be all right. Even if you took that panel off, see how you use the tape? Tape it around the corner and then reattach the panels. So it's, for now, it's it's taped here. That's all you need. It just looks really funny up there. Yeah. It really does. I just quickly thought of it. No, no, no. It's great for, you know, practicality. It works, right? Just it looks funny. It would look way cooler if it was down on here. Yeah, yeah I have to figure something out. Figure uh, something out. Is that your brake? Is that your brake or is that just turn signal? Oh, yeah, it's turn signal. Yeah, my brake's in the inside. <laughs> That's good stuff. Tastes good. My front, my front tire is different than my rear. Uh, it depends. <laughs> it depends on size, how fast you're riding it, right? If you're going 60 kilometers the whole time, highway speeds, it's gonna die within a day. No, maybe two days, eh? Two days? We probably go at least uh, to a full battery. 
battery probably like at least 100 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. So like I say, it depends. It depends how much you're. And only if you say uh, 60 percent, right? Uh, it's hard to judge because everyone drives different. Everybody weighs different, right? Yeah, I could probably use 45. <coughs> <coughs> Who gave this? Yeah. <laughs> so just about 100 kilometers. <coughs> this one should do a little more than that, but yeah. <laughs> In every way, these are better than the Teleria. The only thing Is Teleria. Thirty-five hundred as well. Uh, these ones, if you were to build it yourself, yeah, about thirty-five to thirty-eight hundred. Forty-three, if you want it built. You get it the way. I... Personally, I get them built because I'm. I told you I'm the kind of guy. You know, I'd be able to have the screws left over, yeah, a couple I bolts, see. and a. Plus out. The instructions nowadays are more picked over. Oh, they're probably in, like, Korean or something. Yeah, it's, it's hard to... Uh, you but I've given this guy a lot of business, and each successive build has been getting better and better. So little things from the last time I've told him he's put on the next one, and then more improvements and more improvements. So he's getting way better at building quality bikes rather than a base out of the kit. Right? Mm -hmm. Funny, I was talking to Sheldon about uh, you, you should just start renting these things. Uh, you got so many of them. It's too much, too much hassle. No, I only have two now. I have my Superbike and my Teleria. That's it. I sold one to him, sold one to him. Uh, I gave one away. Oh, there you go. You know, you know who Phil Gladman is? Uh, he's just a local, he's a really, really good guy in the community. Like, everyone knows him. He was one of the first guys I met here when I moved here, like, almost 20 years ago. We were in the same shelter. We stayed at the same shelter, and then me and my girlfriend, we got a place. And he got a place, like, a week later, too. So we were only in the shelter, me and him and her, for, like, a week until... And then he got... He just, from there, he went up, right? And while he was going up, he tried to help everybody in the community any way he could. And, uh, and he's always worked hard. He's always worked... He's always worked, right? He's just tried to raise a family and blah, blah, blah. So I, I just think he deserved it. He was walking. His bike was, I think his bike got stolen or something or something. And he asked if he could borrow one for the week to go to, or he wanted to rent one for the week to get to work till he figured out a, a ride. So I just gave him it. I said, you could have it. Yeah, he's a really, really good guy. He totally deserves it deserves it right like he hasn't had any well, I don't think he gets many breaks right he's always just working for everything and so I just figured I could do that for him well he doesn't need the help like I say he works he's got a job he's got I just don't think that breaks have been given to him very often right but I went on to finance him they buy one, right? Because he can't come up with 40 bucks and 300 bucks, right? Bat, no. no, right? But what he can do is cough up 200 a month, yeah. right? So I'm willing to do that. This guy has hid, had his paid off in what, two months? <coughs> Three months? Had it paid off. What's that? Yeah, it's, he, had, he had it all wrapped up in, like, months. Yeah, yeah, that helped. Well, maybe in a few months, once I get some things figured out, I'll get you to order me one. Yeah. Well, no, just go right through them. Just mention my name. Just say, hey, Dwayne, I want to buy a bike. Dwayne, Dwayne Scriven recommended to me. I've yeah, yeah, seen your his bikes that he's got and stuff. I'd like, I'd like one. And he'd be able to get me into one in the box for 3500 uh, Talk to him. Um, he would definitely get you a kit. Um, all three of these guys, you guys should be able to put one together, right? I mean, it's not Ikea furniture, <laughs> right? <laughs> it, it does. You know, I think they throw extra parts in just to fuck you up. I think so. Because we bought a dresser one time and it had like different screws but extra. So there was no need for this little package of extra screws. But by packing it, it makes you think it goes somewhere. 
and it doesn't go and, and it didn't, didn't go anywhere like it wasn't like they were spare screws right for existing it just had no reason to be in there so you're taking it apart you're going I did this with the dresser the other day when I moved into yeah they make great furniture, but fuck, put it together for us, yeah, right? I don't buy a car and fucking have to put it together, right? I buy the car fully fucking put so together. Right? Yeah. But for stuff like this, I mean, if you can save a thousand bucks on it, fuck, do it, right? Uh, you can go to his website. He has all the parts there, from the frame to the wheel to the motors. To, you can just order those parts off separate. Yeah, eh? Yeah, you can order everything you need. That's actually a better idea. Yeah. I have all pieces that I've ordered. Right? Because then you, yeah, you, you rather than waiting till you have 34 and ordering it all, right, start ordering parts now. Oh man, we had so much fun yesterday. Four of us got out. We got out. There's gonna be five of us today. You and yeah, us I'm four. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Ah, uh, don't blow over. Rent the Telaria? I could rent it to you the Telaria. Not right away. I mean, build a rapport, get you to trust me a little bit. Well, I, if you're Sheldon's friend, I, Sheldon's. I a house with a garage, yeah, so Sheldon's uh, vouched for you. Yeah. I trust Sheldon. He wasn't. He wouldn't send a scumbag to me, right? No, I, I'm a good guy. Let's see, so I, I'm pretty races, sure. Yeah. No, I could have got no problem with that. Like I said, it's going to be inside a garage. I mean, for now, just though, if you just want to get out with us, like, yeah, that's what I said. just come and use it. Yeah. But if you want to put money, like, you know, you want to I give would, me some money now, take it, take it with you. you. Yeah. Well, if you're renting it, it stays with you. You throw it in your garage. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Keep in mind, the Teleria is a different animal than these, eh? It's not as high power. Yeah, it's not as high powered either. These are way more powered. The only thing that these are these are just uh, stealth enduro kit bikes. That's what I call them, stealth enduro kit bikes, because it's all stealth enduro parts. Like you can get a motorcycle seat rather than a stealth enduro seat. And it's more like the ter the, the seat you see on the Telaria that comes out farther. Yeah, this one uh, costs eight grand though. This is a little bit. This is a little bit more of a performance thing. Yeah. No, not catch up to that. No. As soon as I was like, all right, let's see, let's see if we get fucking. As soon as they said that, you're like, yeah, I'm like, no, yeah, fuck it, started laughing. I was like, holy fuck, yeah, I'm not keeping up with that. This motor is so much wider, eh? It's about a half inch on either side. Well, me and Sheldon were actually looking at the same thing. You're narrower in here and yeah. beefier here. It's all it's fatter out here, yeah. yeah. It's like the same size. What's that? The Teleria. On the Teleria, yeah. Yeah. Is this a bigger tire? I don't know. I no, it's the forks are longer. Oh yeah, you're saying they're bigger, true. bigger. They're like motorcycle forks, I think. <laughs> Look at this! I can't dial my shocks in. Okay, it's because it's fucking. That's what the spokes are going through. Yeah, because they're a little short. <laughs> There's actually bolts that hold in my brake rotor. Actual bolts, not just screws. I think it's more the gray. Well, I got get this too. Uh, I paid for clear see-through panels. 
So the both of these are going to be plexiglass, and I can have it lit up from the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already got these. Uh, oh, and I got a. Uh, a couple of those lights to throw on it too. I've got these, my friend gave me these lights that the faster you go, they change color. Yeah, an LED strip. Yeah. Yeah, I would ride with no panels if I ever lost it. You know what you do, what you do is you take these out, take all the screws and I'd just run wire. So you'd wire it in, right? So you just run wires back and forth, back and forth through the screw holes, and I would keep it in. Yeah, yeah. I was seeing that they're 25 feet for a roll, and then there's spots where you can cut it. Right? That is really cool. Well, that section does, and then you put another attachment on, and then you measure out your next, and then yeah. that'll work that section. Yeah, I know. Going around corners. There's a way to do that, though. I seen on YouTube. You know how when you're the where you want to corner it, you put two little snips in it. Like it shows you exactly where, when you won't fuck the thing up, and then you can actually corner those. Well, yeah, around corners. Triangle blocks going in the corner and running across the Either that. It was either that, or they had a little clip thingy for it. Yeah. They attach a clip over it, and it forces it. While not busting it or something. Yeah. I was just saying that because Jimmy gave me a whole fucking light. He gave me one of those. And like, yeah, it's cut in a certain spot, I think, because it got crimped. Yeah. And the whole half of the lights go out. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but there's another, you can buy connectors. So that cut part, the one where you cut, you just yeah. put another connector in that row, it'll now light up. It has another one, so I might just connect it to the other one. So yeah, I just gotta figure it out. I want to see like if they, they hook up the battery pack, but I need dollar store ones and stuff. Those ones are too powerful, they're like ones from Walmart or something. Yeah. And they're meant to plug into a wall, so that's too much power. Hey, you don't have any mineral oil, do you? Mineral oil? It's just, uh, what is it? What, what is mineral oil for, even? It's, 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 it's like fucking just a really thin oil. Yeah, like, uh, but it's not eatable, so I, right? You can't drink it, right? You wouldn't have it laying around the house, would you? No. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know, but what they tell you is to put it in here uh, on the Teleria, oh, not this. This is not three fluid. I can guess oh, okay. That. Yeah, because yeah, the Teleria on the right hand side will definitely need something. Um, oh, okay. It sinks all the way to the thing, and then uh, to actually use them, you got to pump it up a little, and then it has enough oil or something that it only goes in there, and then you have brakes for some reason. It has brakes. There's enough on the pad. You can see it. It's just, I think some air's gotten in the line or something. And, and it's, it just needs to be topped up and bled out or bled out and then topped up. There's a bleed out <laughs> screw on the actual, on the actual thing. You're not able to use like a loop? Does it have to be in there? I think they said mineral oil because that's what's in there originally. Okay. Right? So I don't think they want you mixing oil and well, some sort of water or something. combustible oil. And it probably doesn't degrade. Like I've heard of you being able to put uh, vegetable oil in too. Like cornseed oil will work just fine too. I got vegetable oil. Yeah, yeah that'll yeah, work I too. Tried that, but a vegetable oil you saw oil. that? Yeah, it's a little it thick. Yeah. Try corn syrup oil then, not corn syrup. Uh, what's the clear? Sunflower oil. You know the sunflower yeah. brand oil? That, Baby oil. Thinner. That Talk stuff would work. Baby oil. Baby oil, oil would work. That's the new oil. Yeah. Right. If you know how to put it in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try or you can Google it. Fucking baby oil is thin as hell. <laughs> Which way? Uh, I put the vegetable oil in there, but it was like it wasn't even going through baby it. Baby oil would be the best. Yeah. It's got to be light enough, thin. but I think the whole you idea of the. I think you just have to pump it. Put it in, pump it, put it in, pump it, and it. So you got to be able to, because there's. There's actually a kit you can get that some it sucks the bubbles out. Oh, I seen that. And then fucking yeah, you, you press it at the same time, and it's, as you're pressing it, the kit thing fucking takes all the air out of it. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, eventually fucking once that stops, you should be good. But then top it up. Mm -hmm. you should be good. Uh, there's one multiple methods you can do it. I had it less than a day, and I broke this thing off. This thing right here. 
I, I wrenched on it because I thought it would just slide and it didn't, it just snapped right off. Thank okay. God for JB Liquid Weld. What I'm going to do with mine though, I'm going to fucking release this, mm -hmm. take it completely off and just drain it out completely, get rid of all that vegetable oil, fucking all that mineral oil. And I'm just gonna Why? It. Why? Well, Why I'm would you do that? Because I put the vegetable oil in, right? I want to get that out. It's thick? It's too thick? It's, it's thicker than what the, the shit is. What, what's, what's it doing though? It's affecting the brakes? Well, or do you still have brakes? Slowly go through it, not go quick, right? Yeah, but it's all about pressure. Yeah, but I got like two different oils in there now because I put the vegetable in there. Oh. You know, so I was drain that out, clean it out. Are you finding it's actually affecting your braking though, or is there no, yeah, no difference? It's anything. just you know it's in there. Didn't do anything yet. Oh, uh, then I wouldn't worry about it. Although you were like doing stuff like that, so yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah, I got no, I'm like chilling right now. I got no back brake. And you think that's the problem? That's pretty much why you have no back brake? Yeah, there's nothing. Well, it's the pad. I want a pad and I need the, the, the liquid, right? Are your front brakes better than your back? They should be. Oh, Switch yeah. your pads out. No, I did that. Where I have my back brake in the front. Huh? Oh, Mike, you're fine. Oh, I, I go for it, yeah. Well, I use my engine brake. That's what I do on this. This has a thumb <laughs> engine brake. A thumb actuated engine brake. Besides these, I can just push this and, it, and the more I push it the harder the engine will work against the momentum yeah it's really amazing I've never had to push it all the way in liquid weld I had it zip tied for about six hours and that was enough that was the night we went out riding I was hoping the rain wasn't gonna fuck it up but it didn't and I, I'm never putting pressure on it really right and that'll stay forever JB liquid weld is amazing Well, there's ones you can get that you can control the color on your phone, yeah. right? It's got the color palette, so uh, it doesn't matter. I think as long as I get a mid-range or a high-end strip, it, it'll last forever, right? Um, I think I'd go with, uh, I don't know. You got a decent U-lock? I actually right. have a really heavy chain. Awesome, yeah, you'll need it. You can't leave that Tolerio out, even though it doesn't have like keys and a, <laughs> like I don't even like just leaving this out because even if I have it, they don't have the key, they can still actually pedal it. And it only takes two guys to throw this into a oh, truck, yeah. right? I completely understand your concern. That's why I have a big thick lock with a chain so I'm out. Yeah. Uh, and then when I'm at home, uh, I have a two, like a double garage. So. What can you afford? To rent if you always say you want to uh, rent it for like a couple weeks like 40 50 bucks yeah that's fine just be careful don't kill anyone <laughs> i worry about that riding on the trails and someone steps out in front you'll kill someone with it besides looking at it now i know this is your back that's your front that's your throttle and that's pretty much all i need to know uh on my <laughs> other one the back yeah, yeah. is this one yeah this is your back <laughs> oh, sorry, it's toast. After our ride today, then, why don't you just take it home? You come by and pick up the charger. Okay. I only say that because on, well, on mine, this is the whole fucking front way. That's the way. Oh, so it might be different. Yeah. yeah. Just watch the wire. Break. He asked me, like, this is my front brake on this one, and my back brake's that one. I prefer like regular bicycle though. So, mm -hmm. so, I, don't, I don't know, it's weird to be backwards. Front brake should always be here. The only reason I did that was because I can use this mm. in oh, conjunction yeah, yeah. with just my back brake, right? Yeah, so is it the back brake on that tiller or the front brake doesn't seem to be The front brake, which is almost non existent. Or uh, this one, so it's, uh, I think it's the back brake. Yeah, it's the back brake that's almost non existent. Yeah, well, you can set up just a rotor brake or it locks right up no matter what. Like I say, you gotta pump it so before you ride or maybe at stop signs, for example, give it a couple pumps to keep the pressure up in that brake and you'll be fine. I don't have problems with it, eh? No, you I seem to really have a problem yeah. with it when I throw it. No. 
Yeah, if you've ever ridden dirt bike, you'll be fine on it. Oh, yeah. You'll be yeah, fine because you realize, be you know. Years, so. Yeah. But I'll be fine. And the big things are is watch out for, you know, don't park in an oil thing and get your tire all oily. Don't uh, go over wet leaves on the in the rain, right? Yeah. Because you'll, you'll wipe out. Yeah. Other than that, it's just, uh, and as long as you don't remember, uh, oh, remember they can't hear you. Everybody can't hear you. So in traffic, the other drivers can't hear you. On the trails, if you go trail riding, other dirt bikers can't hear you. So you hear them gather away. <laughs> yep. uh, what else? That's pretty much it. That's what I was told you, right? You yeah. covered everything, did I? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd count on... Um, I'll show you how to reset the odometer, and every charge just reset the odometer, and I generally go by the, the odometer, uh, the trip mileage, and I, on average, of mine are about 73, 75 kilometers. So count on, you know, going anywhere and doing anything till about 60 kilometers, and then start thinking about heading home from wherever you are. The most ideal is, is what we can do is uh, we'll get Jimmy, because he's got a Teleria too, is uh, we can load up the truck, his truck with your Telerias. Me, us three, we'll meet you guys like to the, wherever we ride. Then you pull the thing. Because the That's trouble is, is idea. if you ride out to wherever you're going to go trail ride, riding on the highway or even city streets, you have to keep up with the traffic. Yep. You're riding doing 50, 60 yep. consistently, and that'll suck your battery. So then instead of three hours ride time at the trails, you only have an hour or two because you had to drive there and you got to drive back right we figured out ways like we'll eco it eco which limits you to like 45 kilometers an hour eco it out there then you got two hours ride time and then you got can e you got to eco it back right yeah. so you always so got to be you yeah you can do it on the you could even Is it done through an app? no no you just click a button on the little controller It's also got an engine regen. I usually keep it on two. I find three is a little too jerky. So when you let off the throttle, it suddenly jerk and you're yourself slow, right? So what happens is um, when you let go of the throttle, uh, it's got built in a system where depending on what level you set it at, it engages the engine to slow you down, right? So uh, it's like an anti-idler, I guess. And uh, you let go of the throttle and you, uh, two, you just start gently. You'll hear the engine kicking in like an engine. If you do three, it's not just a gentle, it's. Yeah. And then I haven't even done four. I don't know what four. Would. One is almost nothing. Like it still engages, but that's what you generally use for trail riding because you want the responsiveness of the throttle and your brakes, right? You don't want an engine fucking you up when you're slow on it. So, uh, on streets and stuff the engine brakes handy as hack plus every time you use it it kicks just a little wee bit back into the battery which so, i mean you said regen you have to put def in here then no 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 it's just uh no it's just a regenerative braking system that's all it is there's nothing uh there's nothing no so the only oil that you'll ever need is for those no no uh there is oil to put in um but when Jimmy does his, I think he's going to put some brand new stuff in for the next season anyway. Uh, yours will probably need it, but I don't think it'll need it for this, for what we're, yeah. No, I don't think it'll need it for what we're doing. It's actually, uh, the one I have is a, uh, a modded uh, M4. Uh, for example, uh, Jimmy has the same Stinger R MX4, but his doesn't go as fast. And the battery, we have different depletion levels based on same riding, which leads us to believe the battery is modded too. So it might be a 72 volt battery. I don't know. But... Mine definitely performs better than his. So. Is there room inside that to up like the size of the battery? It's not so much the battery, uh, not so much the battery size, but what they're made of, 
right? So uh, I think the, the new modded one is like a lithium polymer battery, whereas the other one is a lithium ion battery. Okay. Right? So there's constrictions, constraints on, on the size and mass of a, a liquid ion ba lithium ion battery yeah. than a lithium polymer one, right? So with a lithium polymer, you can pack a lot more, I don't know, power cells or whatever the fuck's in there, in there, right? And you've never been bothered by the Tocos? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, there's, well, I think there's a number of factors. Number one, that kind of protects me, right? Uh, you've seen encounters, right? You've watched my, some yeah. of the, they don't want none of that. Why would they? So, I mean, because for, the, the laws the, are so white and black right now, there's... Well, there's, there's no here's another line. problem, or another reason why, probably that he, he won't get bothered either, Jimmy, with his. Uh, it's because there, nobody complains about him. The only... Co yeah. Nobody wants to hear zzzz up and down their, their back, oh, back, back, back alley, right? Yeah, they, nobody wants to hear that, and so they complain. Nobody wants to be hiking, or well, the you know the greenies will, don't like to be hiking, and then yeah. it rips by you on the right. They don't want to hear that, so they complain, right? Uh, cyclists they complain because they're just salty because they have yeah, to pedal. Yeah, yeah, ah, fuck! Why is he going fifty and I can only pedal twelve? Ah. Yeah, so, but other than that, no, no, they don't. They don't. Nobody complains. Just don't drive like a maniac, right? People no, complain about said, that, right? For the last 10 years, yeah. Buses, buses, yeah, no, I'm. Trucks. Is that mine? Uh, yeah. Downside of all that, I don't know how to drive standard. I, yeah, uh, oh. No one's ever been willing to teach me. There's no gears on this, so that's a good thing. Yeah, that's why I asked Sheldon. If I couldn't do gears, I don't know gears. I know about car standard, standard but yeah, not gears. Yeah. Most people I talk to, yeah, I can drive standard. You can't drive standard. My first car was a, uh, yeah, but of that age group, probably their first cars were standard, yeah. right? Mine was first, my first car was standard, with no power steering, no nothing. It was like a Ford Pinto, because my parents gave it to me, right? My, it was my mom's. It's how she stayed fit, steering with it, watching her, uh, right, turn on. That's how I learned to drive. It's yeah. In video games. No power steering. It was a terrible car. They, it was a bit of a mockery too. They used to, they used to make fun of it in movies and stuff about how they blow up so easy. Pintos, Ford Pintos. At some point, if you if you think of if you want to finance that thing off me, or if you want to just get one of these, right? Well, I was thinking about it, but it's just, I'm, I have to wait to find out what's going on with me financially yet. I'm yeah. still kind of getting that together. And get my medical Overall, shot. I'd get this. Number one, because I want to keep my Telerio. Yeah. It's fun for zipping around town. It charges, recharges so fast, like literally within three hours, but it's usually even less than three hours because when I bring it in, it's not empty. I bring it in at 40%, right? Or hell even 60 because i wrote it just that day right yeah. and that a couple errands but i'll top it up right so yeah yeah so i mean it's it's that it, it's only three hours so that's full, to charge like full time hours. right if it's down at 40 percent, count on you know two and a half hours for it to charge right but it's never taken more than three hours ever it can't it, that's old technology it's like the uh you know the ones where, yeah, that's all old technology. Where nowadays they've got ones that don't use that. Remember for the batteries, it was it was well. You got to have them at uh, twenty or eighty percent uh, for maximum efficiency. Uh, you can't you, if you overcharge it, it'll destroy the battery. Uh, if you if you leave it plugged in, your charger will fuck up. Uh, things like that. That's all done. That's all old technology. Um, you can just leave it in. It knows when to shut off. I mean, it knows when it's get. It even knows when it's close to getting full, and it'll slow down the rate of charge so it's not bombarding the battery with a full attack of char recharging. Right. So it'll let up as it as it tops up. <laughs> Things like that. Right. That's yep. all. All that other, that other crap is all old technology. 
You don't have to worry about overcharging it or none of that. In fact, even trickle chargers are old technology now, right? Like I said, they can, you can, it'll, uh, it'll, um, see, well, the way it used to be, trickle chargers would keep pumping energy into the battery. Uh, over time, say you left it in there for a day, it, it would sense after that, that it needed that little day's worth of sitting idle and it would top it up, right? The trouble with that is, is that it's constantly doing that. So each charger, each battery, each device is different. Some will do it in the, every hour, some will do it every, and there you have a device that's constantly just pumping out electricity all day, right? Whereas nowadays it knows it's full, it'll just leave it until you come and tell it to charge it up again or it falls below, say for example, 80%, not just, you know, a day's worth of idling sitting in your thing, right? I just didn't want to like overcharge it. No, 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 no. So if I can charge it on that thing, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. Fully charge all day. But I mean, you don't really need to because of its, how fast it charges. You bring it home from work, plug it in. By the time you've had dinner, watched your TV show, it's ready to go for the night ride. Right? Because it's topped up. Yeah, it's just topping it up every time, right? I don't need I don't need your address. Don't worry about that. I know where to get a hold of him. Are you sure? Yeah, if you ever. Yeah, I'm a stand-up guy, regardless. But I, you know, I, I trust you. <laughs> He'd be bringing you to my me to your place. <laughs> Let's go, Sheldon. Where's he live? Okay. <laughs> It'll give you freedom, man. No, well, not just the area, Niagara. You could go from here out to down the trail, the canal trail down to St. Catharines. That's only 23 kilometers. Then you can fuck around there for about 20, 25 kilometers. And then you'll still have 20, about 23 to get home. So that's pretty good, right? If you were to eco it out there, eco drive it out there which is only 45 kilometers it may seem slow but it's worth it when you have an hour of fuck around time out in St. Catharines right uh, now I'm not you so what happens if I get pulled over and does it have pedals at least if I order pedals I can't put them on no it's not worth it that's the only thing stopping it's not worth it no Yeah. Well, you if you if it gets impact, you got to get it out, right? <laughs> if you wreck it, you got to pay for it, right? Okay. I had a I had this I had this one guy I gave him a bike. Uh, he was he was gonna make payments. He had to finish payments to someone else first for a scooter, and then he was gonna start paying me. Before he got to do it, he some fucker went at where he lives and cut all the spokes. So then he thought, well, I'll just give it back. No, you giving me giving me back a bike that's either fixed or you pay me for the bike, right? And he still has them, but I don't know. I think he's gonna get it fixed soon, and then he's just gonna give it back, which is fine, right? At that point, I would have fixed it. Yeah, but he's he's not capable of that. But anyway, he's a nice guy. He's just he just the way he thinks, right? He thought, well, I'll just give it back, right? He says to me, do you want a back? No, I don't want a back broken, right? Really? What, I'm supposed to pay for it? Because you, it was broken and you're, right? If you... Things have been a little crappy for me lately, but... Good, good. The trick's to stay positive. I mean, 
I get it. It's bad and hard to stay positive, of course, when, for example, you get struck down by alcoholism or your wife leaves you or you lose a child, right? I get it. Obviously, that's, you know, but to stay positive is going to go way farther than sinking into any sort of depression, any sort of, right? Yeah, trust me. Uh, it's, and, and if you can handle stuff like that, and be all right, loss of a parent, uh, loss of friends due to accident, overdose, or whatever, right? Sudden death from a friend, uh, things like that. And if you can stay positive, stay, then all the little shit's nothing. All the little shit is nothing. It's about it. Do you have any equity? No. Uh, that's hard. The tricks to if, if, if see the Zanana, the brutal truth is you need money to make money. If you have nothing, it's so hard to start something, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. The only downside of the one of these things is uh, of, of, of a bike is it's seasonal, right? Yeah. You're counting on a late fall and an early spring to maximize your six, five months of summer. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, the way it's been going now is pretty much just like six and six. You got winter and summer for the most part. Spring is pretty short and fall's getting shorter. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your words of encouragement yesterday. They really, really, really help. Because, I mean, believe it or not, I mean, I that, that affected me. Right? Oh, I know, I know. And, uh, They're just sitting there going on about other mental issues that come up. Yeah. Like, it's his channel, his life, his money. What do you It's just what he's doing. He's going to watch it. So, yeah, that's why I chimed in there. Yeah, that was nice. Thank you. I appreciated that. Like they didn't even want to sit down and chat about it. it actually, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, well, when I got there, I realized that they were going, she was going off of multiple things that were yeah. told to her, so she was kind of trying to condense it. And, and it sounded like it was all coming at me at once, and it was, but she probably had, we had to listen to 20, 30, 40 minutes of everybody, right? You made a very good point, too. It's only 2%, right? So, maybe, maybe 0.2%. Right. So I mean, you, you, you got even to assuming everybody in Welland was watching me, right? Like that's not true. I got maybe a hundred people in Welland that watch me, maybe more, maybe two hundred by now. But you know, I've got eighteen thousand other views every single month. I've got my stats show my channel's growing constantly every month. So I mean, constructive criticism never, never hurts. Well, I do. I, I, I was looking at it too. When I come back, I was thinking, well, you know, I, I don't need to make a three. Four. Some of my videos are like five hours long, eh? Like, I've got long videos. But that's the beauty of it too, though. The way I look at it, the reason I shoot long videos is because they're uncut. There's no editing, there's no something went wrong, and so I had to turn it off, and now I've dealt with it, and I, right? I've never had to cut it because. You know, people don't come up to me asking to buy crack. They don't come up to me selling me hot goods. They don't come, right? There's nothing I need to be ashamed of or embarrassed about in my head, so I don't cut it, right? There's no reason to, right? And uh, another reason is, is from a marketing, from a from a money view, point of view, the longer videos make more because people are, they come home, they'll they'll sit, throw a, throw a video on, and it plays all night. Maybe in the background, maybe they, you know, something exciting happens. They'll come and check it out. Hey, mom, mom, come here! Look what he's doing! Look what's happening! 
or right but I, like i said that i heard her, they put it on you know go to sleep right i'm riding for an hour what are they gonna yeah i'm riding an hour what are they gonna hear or see really and so they just have it on us i've even mentioned that in a couple of the videos all right guys this was just a screensaver video right you can loop yeah. it and put it on your pc screensaver yeah there's some there's some that i don't commentate on at all like most of them i don't really commentate to the viewer there's certain ones where i'll i'll actually narrate to the viewer and talk to them. it's funny for a while i was getting so used to it <laughs> one day i was uh i was doing something and i i realized i was narrating and i wasn't wearing my camera i left it home that day i was charging or something but i was so used to narrating i just I naturally started to narrate what i was doing and i realized shit i'm not even recording <laughs> well, no, I mean, it, it, I find a lot of time narration can help fill up, you know, I understand nobody's going to want to watch me sit there waiting for my buddy to show up, right? So I've got to fill 15 minutes with, you know, idle banner, talk, whatever. I can do that. Yeah. Well, it's about engagement, right? Keep it engaging with the viewer if there's nothing happening right if i'm not doing something specific like writing or what have you if i'm just uh, sitting around right well of course i gotta kind of engage with the uh, the mother of the the mother of the, the guy I, I pummel there who showed up last night yeah nothing bad happens i don't even think she knows who i am she, i think she does I don't know. I don't know. It's funny though. Kind of awkward. Oh, look at that Corvette. Wow. Mm hmm. I just bought a house on Canal Bank. Nice. Yeah. And I got a, uh, and we're looking at this other house on State Street. We might, uh, we're going to be switching it from a, just a single family home to a duplex. And I already got a quarter million set into that. That's my first project. Yeah. So that's our first project. Well, this first one we might keep as an income property, and then uh, you know we're each splitting three grand, right? Besides the house expenses, it's a grand a piece. I don't know. It'll probably be just two bedrooms on the top, two bedroom on the bottom, right? Kitchenette. That'll belong to the bottom, or maybe well, it'll be storage or something. Chances are it'll have to belong to like the main floor person because uh, yeah. I don't know. That would be something my partner would do, would deal with. I'm more like a silent partner. I, I just got an inheritance, so I can put it into this business, a large portion of it, right? So now every flip, I'm making a little profit. We just reinvest the money and add a little bit, right? So, I eventually, in like maybe next year, I'd like to buy that golf course out there. The one out by this new subdivision, I would buy Walmart. It's a big 18 hole golf course. But, oh, but was, yeah, and, and there's a, yeah, yeah, and there's a clubhouse there that's already built on there that would be perfect to turn the whole place into a dirt bike track. Oh yeah. Right? It's already got the trails that encompass the whole 18 holes. It's already got it's already those are good trails too they've yeah. been done for oh, yeah. years so it's they're really good so it's only minor maintenance to widen them and make them a little more 
family friendly. Uh, but other than that, it's already set up. The clubhouse would be would house a snack bar, uh, like a small restaurant, uh, a gear area, a setup area. We'd have a tech on site and stuff. During the winter, you'd run uh, you'd run snowmobiles and everything. It would be year round. There's there's enough room on the top where we could make three apartments, full size apartments where people could come from a distance, come, stay the weekend, right? Pay the money and stay the weekend in our in one of our hotel rooms. And then they, they go out there, you know, every weekend we'd have that thing packed. And during the weekday, uh, there's so many people use it. The police even tell the people, kids, right? If you want to race, go fucking go, 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 go up to the golf course. <laughs> yeah, that's what they told us. We went out with quads and... Uh, my friend asked one of the cops, where, where, well, where can we, because he was, he was telling her you can't really go. And she said, okay, well, where, where can we go? And he says, well, go up to the golf course. Up by the, yeah. Yeah, it's open. There's no, there's, kids don't vandalize it. There's nothing getting wrecked there. They'll just go there to ride, right? And the, the cops know that it's safe. There's nobody's going to get hurt. It's right. Go to the Ascend, oh yeah, yeah. We've done all of the dirt bike areas around here. We've even gone out to the uh, yeah. There's that. Is that the one on the other side of the canal? No, just before. That's Dane City. Oh, okay. We've been to the Dane City one where it's all it's like professional track. Yeah, that yeah, is amazing yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's that's a fun area. There's one, there's one there's where they've actually built this jump. So it's a big fucking hill, but you come up this way, you get a short turn, a bank, sharp bank turn, and then a short lead up off this fucking 40 degree ramp that if you're jumping this, you're jumping up and you're coming up, down, you're landing down the hill. It's crazy shit. Oh yeah. Not only air, you got a, such a loss of elevation in that jump. I, it's look, hey Daniel, that jump. That's that's for a big two fifties, eh? You wouldn't do it on these. Now, but you can see they've used it. Say that again. Can you use all your bikes for off road? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay away from the bigger trousers. Well, whatever you're comfortable with. But keep in mind, most everything inside of here is only, you know, super glued or zip tied or, right? You start doing jumps and shit, your controller's going to bust loose. Your battery's not secured by anything. It's just the weight of it's sitting it in there. So you start jumping that shit. I, I wouldn't personally. The trail riding I can do because it's not super fast. We're not actually getting much air if we are, you know. Yeah. But I don't ride like a kid. I'm 50 something. I, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be doing jumps and stuff. I won't be either. Yeah, I got no, if you're I'm confident you've race. done dirt biking, go ahead. Just no. be aware you got to replace it or repair it if oh, you yeah, break it. That's why I wasn't worried about Sheldon borrowing it because he says he's dirt bike riding, so it's fine. It's been a minute, but I'll tell you. Ah, you never forget. That's why I asked him if there was like a clutch. No, not clutch. You'll get the feel of it, like the throttle, for example, if you're not giving it gas and you want to coast, you just let off a little. If you let off all of the way, the brake regen will kick in, right? So if you just let it off a little, you can coast, you can go over hills, whatever. Yeah, it's, uh, no, I haven't plugged his in. 
the the plan was when we got back from coffee, we'd plug it in. That'll probably be maybe next year. I, I want to concentrate. Like we just looked at our first property last week. Uh, I think we've decided that's gonna. I want to get that moving and because that's like four months probably. eh? four months reno, maybe three if we can speed it up, and then another maybe two months to market and sell, right? Or fill with tenants if we keep it. Well, we get, there's a couple walls that have to come out, and of course, new walls that have to go in. Then there's infrastructure, right? Wiring, new plugs, new. We've got to build a kitchen, another kitchenette. So that's right? all things you can do throughout the winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another bathroom has to be installed, right? That's always good to have a game plan. Yeah, but we we've flipped a lot of homes. I I've, I've just I've worked with this guy for like ten years, maybe I've known him since for you know fifteen years, uh, and I've watched him flip home after home after home. So this is just the first time I've been able to be a part of it and uh, like as a partner, not as a you know tearing walls down and and, and yeah. I'm more like a silent partner now, right? So our first home we could buy is, you know, a million dollar home if we wanted, right? But we're, we're, going for, we're going for the little ones where we can buy it cheap, renovate it cheap, and then the more money, we'll have more money for the next one, right? Uh, I can't remember what he said on this one. No, I don't even think it's that much. Like it might be three nine, three ninety, something around there. Like keep in mind too, we're not getting it in the best best of shape. There's a, there's a number of problems. We might have to put a new roof on. Our back, the back deck needs replacing, right? So there's a lot of there's a lot to get it going. So if we can actually purchase it for less, that increases our reno budget, right? All right, I got to go home and get Tammy up. She's been in bed all morning. Uh, I'll plug your bike in right away. And uh, I will see you guys later on. Yeah.
Smoking another one freely. What's that? You want to puff another one freely? Yeah, okay, sure. You ever order offline? Order what? Oh, yeah, I've ordered stuff offline. Try the uh, can of craft. Oh, you mean pot? Yeah. No, no. Uh, the only ones I did was weed maps, and then they would point me to one, and I'd order and then deliver it and stuff. And I can't remember which one weed maps used for me because it was a while ago. I know it was one of the local ones. They told me what it was, where it, where it was coming from, but I forgot. I buy pounds, man. Oh, do you? Yeah, I buy like a pound for six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I have someone who goes up to the reserve for me. See you later, Daniel. He's not staying? Did he know he was from a shrunken one? He doesn't know you're going to be a shrunken one. I thought he was a smoker. No Jimmy today. We'll see him later. Yeah, no, we'll see him tonight. He'll be with us tonight. Have a nice little group with us? Yeah, it should be good. You guys do nighttime riding or later on the afternoon? Uh, usually afternoon, but I think it'll be a night ride, it sounds like. But we can go anytime. It does not matter to me at all. You, I, you obviously have a light to, to there. Yeah. I have a nice bright flashlight. So no, no, it's got a bright, bright light. Nice. It's fine. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My wife would kill me if I died. 